Let's make some distinctions in what we're generally referred to as belly breathing. Here we're in this first method, which is typically uh, performed by many people, is the belly pushes out, which is, in this case the transversus abdominis relaxes during the inhale. And this allows the diaphragm to descend uh, unimpeded by intra-abdominal pressure. On the exhale, the transversus abdominis contracts or shortens, increasing intra-abdominal pressure and helping push the diaphragm back up. We should also remember that uh, during the exhale, the transversus abdominis contracts along with the pelvic floor muscles. Now the second method I'm going to refer to for lack of a better term as Dantian breathing. We could probably also refer to this as lower abdominal breathing or navel breathing. So during inhalation, the transversus abdominis and pelvic floor muscles are acting isometrically or even possibly eccentrically to prevent the expansion of the belly and resisting that intra-abdominal pressure. During exhalation, the transversus abdominis and pelvic floor muscles are now allowed to contract in a concentric manner due to the decrease in intra-abdominal pressure due to the diaphragm ascending. When this breath is done controlled manner, the diaphragm is essentially <clears throat> performing an eccentric uh, activation. Whereas opposed in the inhale, is performing a concentric activation against resistance due to intra-abdominal pressure. If we look at both of these breathing methods or ways of performing belly or abdominal breathing, uh, we see two dis clear distinctions. In the first method, emphasis is placed on relaxing or stretching of the transversus abdominis and contracting. So the transverse abdominis is allowed to fully stretch and fully contract. In the second method, emphasis is placed on the diaphragm itself and is essentially a resisted contraction of the diaphragm, uh, both concentrically against the intra-abdominal pressure and then eccentrically as the breath is slowly released in a controlled manner uh, as the abdominal pressure is pushing up against the diaphragm. Both of these methods have potential training value depending on your goals and objectives. If you want to train the transversus abdominis in a non-resisted manner, the first belly breathing method can be used for that. If you want to train the diaphragm itself and against a uh, quote internal resistance the second method it could be useful for that